Buon sabato tutti. Happy Sabbath everyone. This is Yves Bonnier with your weekly recorded video message from the beautiful city of Rome. Every Sabbath I'm going to try to send you a video message with some thoughts and comments about my journey here. I'm standing here in front of the Cathedral of the Church of Rome, the official ecclesiastical seat of the Bishop of Rome. And the Bishop of Rome, of course, is the Pope. Do you know which church I'm standing in front of? If you said St. Peter's Basilica, you are wrong. This here, as I'm turning the camera, is the Basilica of St. John. Believe it or not, it is the oldest and ranks first among the major basilicas of Rome, including St. Peter's, and holds the title of Ecumenical Mother Church among Catholics. Even though it is a few miles from the Vatican, the Italian government has granted it a special extra territorial status as property of the Holy See. Now you know fact that most people are unaware of. But what is most interesting is the building opposite or just next to it to St. John's Lateran Church, the building called right over here Il Santuario della Scala Santa in Italian and in English it means the Sanctuary of the Holy Steps. What's in this building right there was key to the Reformation. Let me show you. So here we are in front of this building called Il Santuario della Scala Santa, Il Sanctuary of the Holy Steps. Legend has it that these steps in here are the very steps that Jesus climbed to go to Pilate's palace before being sentenced to death and crucified. There are 28 steps here. Somehow these 28 steps miraculously were transported from Jerusalem all the way to Rome. Let's take a peek here. It's going to be a little dark, but let's take a peek here as we make our way through the crowd here, through the tourists. They are now encased in wood to protect them from all the people that come and visit them. And the only way to climb them, and I don't know if you can see all the people here, but the only way to climb them is on your knees. Right here you have a, a bunch of pilgrims that have come here to pray at every step. They pray and they climb. And for every step that you climb on your knee, it is nine years indulgence. In other words, nine years less in purgatory. You do the math. That's 252 years less in purgatory. I know it's dark and hard to see. So let me step out again go back out. Back in the 1500s, Martin Luther went to Rome as a faithful pilgrim, as a faithful Catholic, and he climbed these stairs on his knees. There is St. John's Basilica, and here is Il Santuario della Scala Santa. And so every step he went up and he prayed on his knees, and that was nine years less in purgatory, he thought. But finally, when he got to the very top, he thought, who knows if this is all true? And thus began, right here, a lot of Bible searching, a lot of soul searching, which paved the way for the Reformation. So my friends, right here in the heart of Rome is an important place for Christians. Well, here I am again. I just want to say that I pray that God will bless you, that you will stay strong in Jesus Christ. He loves you and has great plans for you. I miss you. And till next time, ciao.